charged with having and trading a massive amount of child pornography. Cairo 7's Gary Horker is live near the Gates compound in Medina. And Gary, this man worked as an engineer for the family. That's what SPD and intelligence found out, Steve. They found out that the man actually worked for the Bill and Melinda Gates mansion on the grounds of their sprawling 66,000 square foot estate, and that's where they found him and questioned him last March. The estate is behind us right on the lakefront here, but this is a few blocks away, and it's as close as their security will allow us to get. But according to King County prosecutors, 51-year-old Rick Allen Jones was questioned by detectives about images of child porn and even child rape that were sent from Jones's home computer. Now, none of this alleged crime actually happened at the Gates Mansion, but it was here that Rick Allen Jones admitted to detectives he collected child porn for about 10 years, sending images through his Gmail account. Now, while Jones was talking to detectives at the Gates estate, three more SPD detectives had a search warrant to search Jones's Ballard apartment. There, they say they found more than 6,000 images of graphic child porn and rape, 133 of which were children identified by police. We tried Jones's apartment for comment. We got no response. We also reached out to Bill and Melinda Gates's foundation, and we did not hear back. So, in fact, we do not know if he's been fired by the Gates's family. Another mystery into this is why Jones was never jailed or charged by this, uh, these allegations up until now. The, uh, the investigation started here at the Gates Foundation, the Gates Mansion, in March. And the criminal complaint, which I have right here, says he has to show up in court and face a judge in the coming days. So we're going to keep track of this. We're digging into the charges. We'll keep you posted on the latest. Live from the lakefront in Medina tonight, I'm Gary Horker, Cairo 7 Eyewitness News. Jeffrey Epstein may be dead, but this story isn't. A shocking new report from the New York Times sheds light on the connection between Microsoft founder Bill Gates and the late Jeffrey Epstein. After Gates' name came up in connection with Epstein and MIT Media Lab, Gates gave a statement to the Wall Street Journal where he insisted he did not have any business relationship or friendship with Epstein. But new reporting from the New York Times outlines numerous meetings between Gates and Epstein and a conversation with Bill and Melinda Gates' foundation, a connection between their foundation and J.P. Morgan to set up a charitable fund that would financially benefit Epstein. You know what I want to know? Why? Joining me now, one of the New York Times reporters from this story, James B. Stewart, who is also the author of a new book I highly recommend, Deep State, Trump, the FBI, and the Rule of Law. Let's start with this. Gates says, no relationship, not on nothing. You report these two men met at least six times. What does Gates say about that? Well, I believe that there were more, and he, and he and his spokespeople would not say how many in total they actually met. But this included visits to the mansion, uh, seeing each other in Seattle, flying on Epstein's plane, when we all know Bill Gates has his own $40 million plane. Um, and then, as an investigative reporter, the, why would Gates say, oh, I had no relationship with him, when, of course, he knows what the, the facts are? So that's, that always sets off red flags for me. He also has one of the largest, most established foundations on his own. Yes. Why would they ever set up a charitable trust benefiting Jeffrey Epstein? Well, not only does he have the world's largest charitable foundation, but one of their primary missions is to help young women in un underprivileged countries. Jeffrey Epstein was preying on young women from Eastern Europe, from South Africa, luring them into his web. And it's the antithesis of what the Gates Foundation stands for. And by the way, there were Gates Foundation employees who were horrified when they realized what Jeffrey Epstein had done and was saying, we don't want to have anything to do with this. And yet the project went on. And what is the Gates explanation? for this that it was all about philanthropy that Bill Gates just wanted 
to find new sources of money. But you, when you went and met with Jeffrey Epstein a year and a half ago, I read your piece, you knew straight out of the gate something didn't add up. It smelled foul. Bill Gates didn't notice that? One of well, the smartest guys in the world. I mean, he's a registered sex offender, and after I rang the doorbell, it opens, and there is a, a beautiful young woman standing there who I didn't think was 16, but she could have been, you know, 19 or something, and I thought, whoa, a sex offender has it, a beautiful young woman opening the door. So I didn't even have to go through the door before I realized there's something really weird going on here.